Hey guys, DLC Reviewer here, and today I just wanted to quickly run over the Gage Mod Courier Pack. Um, the Gage Mod Courier Pack was released on April 10th, it goes for $4.99 or €5 Euro in my currency. And um, it's a very small DLC pack, it adds very minuscule things and brings in a whole bunch of mods that are, you know, specific to each of the weapons. Um, eat, there are five mods in total with each mod having a specific color, with the green mantis being green, the yellow bull being yellow, red spider is red, blue eagle is bloom, purple snake is purple. All of the packages are scattered throughout every map, and all it takes is for one person on uh, your team to have the gauge mod courier pack, and the packs will actually show up for everyone. But if you pick up a pack and you don't have the courier DLC, you don't get um, the mod from picking it up so many times. Uh, but you do still get the experience from picking them up, I believe. So each of the packages um, require a certain amount of them to be picked up before you can get uh, your mods for what each package holds. Uh, Green Mantis needs 5, Yellow Bull needs 10, Red Spider needs 15, Blue Eagle needs 20, and Purple Snake needs 25. Now, what is inside the the courier packs? Well, for the Green Mantis, we have the AK Slavic Dragon Barrel for the AK Rifle and AK 7.62 Rifle. We have the Compact Hollow Sight for all weapons except pistols. We have the Compact Hollow Sight for all weapons except pistols. The Specular Sight for all weapons except pistols. The Competitor's Compensator for all rifles and submachine guns. And the AK Rubber Grip for all AK rifles. In the Yellow Bull, we have the White Stock for all car rifles and adapter support. The Asbestos Suppressor. All, for all pistols except the Bronco. Uh, the Trignum Sight for all weapons except pistols. Funnel of Fun Nozzle for all rifles and submachine guns. And the AK Plastic Grip for all AK rifles. In the Red Spider Pack we have the Battle Proven Handguard for the AK Rifle and AK 762 Rifle. The Gazelle Rail for the Car 4. The Compact Laser Module for all weapons except pistols. The War Torn Stock for all car rifles and adapter support. The Tactical Compensator for all rifles and submachine guns, and the AK Wood Grip for all AK rifles. In the Blue Eagle we have the Deagle Scope Mount for the Deagle, uh, AK Quad Stacked Mag for all AK rifles, the Military Laser Module for all weapons except pistols, the Solar Sight for all weapons except pistols, the Flash Hider for every pistol in the game, and the Compact Sight for all weapons except pistols. And finally, the Purple Snake, which has the Bronco Support Mount for the Bronco 44 Revolver, the Competition Foregrip for the Car 4, the Lightweight Rail uh, for the AK and AK-762, the Car Quad Stacked Mag for all car rifles and AK-5 rifle, the Pistol Red Dot Sight for all pistols except the Bronco, and the King's Crown Compensator for all shotguns except the Moscone. As you go into each contract, the Courier Packs will be found at specific locations but can sometimes be a little random. So like, if it appears next to the dumpster, sometimes it won't appear next to the dumpster, it'll appear to somewhere else, but then sometimes when you go in, it will appear at the dumpster. So, I'd say there's like, uh, 14 or 15 different spaces it can appear, but only 10 will ever appear on Death Wish. And I believe it's 8 on Overkill, then probably 6 on Very Hard, 4 on Hard. I don't really know how exactly how it goes from Very Hard down, I don't play Very Hard very often. Uh, but on, over on Death Wish, it's 10, and on Overkill, it's 8, I believe. Um, so it's completely, the, the place where they show up can be, you know, found through guides, but what they're going to be is random. So there could be a green mantis next to the bin, and then you go, you play the mission again, there's a blue eagle there this time. And that's all there is to it, really. Just, it's a pack that gives a whole bunch of mods. Another thing that was brought in with the gauge mod courier pack is, uh, being able to choose different reticles. Um, and also being able to change the color of them. And because of a community bonus that came with it is uh, if you don't have the mod courier DLC, you get to use the first four reticles uh, at no cost for free, which is something that Overkill, Overkill rarely does. But that's it, really. Is it worth getting? Yes, definitely. A lot of the mods here are actually really useful, um, especially in the Purple Snake, uh, the King's Crown Compensator is really good, and... The, competi the competitor's compensator in Green Mantis is very, really, really good as well. Just in general, everything that you find in the uh, courier assignments, or the courier pack, uh, you'll just find useful when you're modding your weapons. 
And also the the courier pack actually holds a lot of the mods as well, so if you don't have it, you'll be missing out on, on quite a bit. So, yeah, it's definitely worth it, especially because if anyone else picks up the packs, uh, you get them as well. It's not if someone finds a pack, they keep it. So if you pick up a purple snake, everyone gets the purple snake who if they have the DLC. And, um... That's about it, really. You can only get the loot in the mod courier pack through actually getting the packs. So if you want to get anything in the mantis pack, you have to pick up five of them. If you want to get anything in the purple snake, you gotta find 25 of them. Which is, uh, particularly, um... Kinda, yeah, it's definitely time-consuming, but it's definitely worth it, considering the fact that if you play the game for like, you know, t if you play the game for like 10 hours, you'll have 15 of every um, mod just pretty much. So yeah, it's definitely worth getting. You should definitely get it. It's it's worth it. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, congratulations for reaching the end of the video. I mean, six minutes is bare. <laughs> this, this wasn't even a video. It was just a, should you get it? Yes. <laughs> But um, the historical pack is really where we start to take off because we're going to start getting into the newer DLC where it starts introducing melee weapons, like, you know, actual, like, ones that you should probably take with you. So um, just like the uh, mod courier packs uh, that you can find around when you're doing your contracts, make sure you find my subscribe button and pick it up and then click it and take it away with you so that way you can see when I upload the uh, historical pack, which is next, as you can see on the bottom of the screen. So anyway, yeah. I will see you next time for Gage Historical Pack. Bye.